Hello there and welcome to this series of videos going through the content of A-level further maths. Here we're looking at how we would find the angle between two planes, so we can answer questions from exercise 9D. So, this is the sort of question we have then, this is a diagram of what's going on. We have two planes, they're going to intersect along a line, and we're going to need to work out, we're going to be asked to work out the angle theta, that um, is where the two planes intersect. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. But all we have at the moment is the two normals for both of these uh, planes. Um, so how are we going to use these normals here um, to effectively answer this question of the angle between the two planes? Um, so there's going to be a little bit of a trick to it. Let me just explain the little trick to you. So what we need to do first is just consider... Um, a diagram where we're looking down at both of the planes. So we've positioned ourselves um, within the two planes such that this is now us looking along plane one. So effectively it would carry on going backwards uh, from here. So it would just carry on going backwards, but we're looking directly down it. And we're looking directly down plane two as well. Let's draw both of those normal lines in. So both of these lines here are given to us in this question here and here, and we're asked to work out this angle here. Well, if we turn this into a quadrilateral here, then we can clearly see that this angle here, um, add the 90 degrees, add the 90 degrees, add the actual angle that we're looking for, is going to add up to 360. So by the time we've got rid of the two 90 degree angles, these two angles here should add up to 180. So effectively this answer is now going to be 180 minus the angle that's created when we find the angle between the two um, perpendiculars. So the question here is, uh, the, the strategy we're going to use here is find the angle between these two perpendiculars here and here and then do 180 minus it and that will give us our angle um, that's between the two planes. So feel free to have this sketch to hand. This, whenever I get a question that is find the angle between two planes, I think of this diagram here. Okay. So the normal um, A is 4, 4, minus 7, and the normal B is 7, minus 4, 4. The modulus of them are 9 and 9, respectively. So plug this into your formula apply your formula and you get theta is 152.7 degrees. So that would be the angle at which the two normals meet. So we've got our two normals, two planes here. Our two normals are going to be meeting at 152.7. So now to find this angle round here, we do 180 minus it. So we get 27.3. OK, and that's the answer. That's all we have to do. So find the angle between the two lines, the perpendicular lines, and then do 180 minus it. Your turn then. Pause the video and try this one out. All right then, so let's have a go at this together then. So what we've got here are two planes. We have one here and one here. Let's draw the normals in here and the normal in here. And what we're looking for to find first is this theta angle here. Then what we'll do after we've found that angle there is we'll do 180 minus theta to get this angle here. So um, let's start working this out then. So cos theta is equal to 1, 2, minus 2, dotted with um, minus 4, 4, 7 divided by the square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 7 squared times by the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared equals, well it's going to be minus 4 plus 8, so that would be 4, um, minus 14, so that would be minus 10 on the top. And on the bottom here it's going to be the square root of 4 squared plus 4 squared plus 7 squared which gives you 9 times 3. So what we'll do now is we'll do inverse cos of minus 10 over 27. So that is going to give us minus inverse cos minus 10 divided by 27. 
and that gives us 111.738. Final thing to do is now to do 180 minus 111.738, leaving our answer to three significant figures. 180 minus answer. Always use the answer button when you can, and we get 68.3 degrees. Okay, so there we are. That's all we have to do for that question then. It's a case of just sometimes remembering all of these structures for all of these different questions here that's difficult um, when we finish this topic here. But I think each individual question is certainly manageable. Right then, so you've now seen every example or every type of um, question that you can answer from exercise 9D. So do take a lot of time to practice. Um, I would just go through all of those exercises and make sure that you don't skip anything or or yes, yeah, so you make sure you don't have any gaps in your knowledge. So go ahead and do that. It's going to take you some time, but it's going to be well worth it when we move on to 9E and 9F afterwards. Thanks very much for watching.